Hello everyone. I want to talk about chasing something more timeless and more meaningful than chasing a fleeting emotion like happiness. So what do I mean by that? So this is a statistic that had actually surprised me in 2018. The World Happiness Report um, that was released had labeled United States as the 18th in the world in happiness. So it had actually surprised me and alarmed me you know the world's richest country not having enough to be happy about so and it got me thinking okay so what happens is we usually start chasing other people's ideas of what happiness and success should be and in that process we lose sight of what all we already have the biggest mistake we do is we postpone our happiness see we are dynamic prosperous and progressive but we are not happy with that idea Uh, because we tell ourselves hey let me finish this project hey let me buy this car maybe let me own this home and uh, that way maybe i can uh, once i get to that i will be more joyful or happy but we forget that the journey the pursuit was what was the pursuit of what we wanted that journey was more joyful than the destiny itself um so imagine this uh, if you are climbing you're preparing um, everything you're training for months to climb the everest okay one day you are at the summit you have hoisted your flag and you are there you find out that minute that your mother has died so here is the question is your happiness fleeting at that moment because you are immediately immersed in grief for your dead mother of course unless you are a teen who wants your mother dead that <laughs> ascent might not really mean much because you have lost your parent so here is why i said that instead of chasing happiness why can't we all chase something which is more meaningful and timeless like our inner peace and our keen sense of well-being on a day to day basis so let's define what is well-being so most of us whenever we are asked that question we are like what is your goal we are like i just want to be happy but how about we realize that happiness is a feeling that c- can come from a lot of pleasant emotions compounded one on top of each other how can we do this so if we realize a few things about ourselves we can understand that we already have a lot of things that can make us happy right where we are we are autonomous we have the free will of choice we have a purpose in life to take care of ourselves uh the needs of our loved ones we understand our strength and we also understand the deep connections the well meaning and solid relationships we have with others in the community so even if our, for our children right we can teach them the that happiness can be a lifelong pursuit if they understand that there is an aspect of personal satisfaction in what they are doing and also clarity of purpose that can bring them this inner peace So here is uh, the final conclusion let us create a vision and a purpose that is sustainable for us throughout no matter what happens you know because tragedy can happen any time but for us to retain our poise and sustain our well being throughout it all we have to understand that happiness or suffering are nothing but mental events so instead of labeling an event as a happy one or a sad one let's choose to see how we can respond to that event because after all happiness is a state of mind and why should i postpone my happiness when i can simply look outside and uh, watch two squirrels chasing each other in my backyard and you know that, that's a moment of that's a pocket of joy that i can capture right then and there okay so please don't postpone happiness it is right here with you